Hi and welcome to category 13 of mini program challenges. In this category, we are going to dive into JSON uh, challenges and we are going to have seven challenges for which you can see the timestamp right now on the screen. Now, the first question says convert the following dictionary into JSON format. So, as usual, go ahead, pause the video, and you're going to see my solution after three seconds. Now, I'm going to grab our JSON data first. Uh, in here, we need to import the JSON module to be able to work with that. And the only thing that we need to do is we, do, we could just say print data, uh, sorry, uh, JSON dot dumps this is the function that is going to convert a python object a python dictionary to be more accurate into a json uh, into a json object or json string this is actually a string so if you take a look at the type it's going to show you a string that's question one question two says access the value of key two from the following json so go ahead pause the video you're going to see my solution after three seconds So for this one, I'm going to grab both import JSON and sample JSON. And I'm going to say, uh, what I want to do is I need to grab the value of the key too. So first, uh, I need to convert it into a dictionary so I can grab that key. So I'm going to say data is json.loads uh, sample JSON. And I'm going to say print data. Let's grab key two, right? So key two. Let's save that and let's go ahead and let's run that. Here we can see that the value of key two is actually uh, value two. So with this, this question also comes to an end. Let's move on to question number three. For question number three, it says sort JSON keys in and write them to a file wow so go ahead pause the video and after three seconds you're going to see my solution now i'm going to copy this sample json i'm going to say import json i'm going to paste that right here and i'm going to say uh with open now where do i want it where do i want to put it that's going to be within the sample underscore json dot json file within the same uh, directory so you need to if you want to provide it within a folder you need to write the folder and for a slash you have done all of that right and you need to open this in a write mode right and this is going to be as um, file and i'm going to say json dot dump json dot dump I'm going to pass in the sample JSON. So sample JSON, and I'm going to say file. Let's indent it for indent equal to four. And I'm going to say sort keys, sort underscore keys is equal to true. That's it. That's very, very simple. I'm going to say done in quotes. Let's save that. Let's go ahead and let's run it and sample json dot where is our file didn't it run let's see do we have oh name done is not defined uh where is it coming from is it coming from here this is in quotes let's save that let's run it again there we go sample json if i click on it indent four four indentations h ID and name. Now you can see this is in fact a JSON. Cool stuff. Moving on to question number four. Question number four says access the nested. Uh, where is it? Uh, access the. I was reading from the other screen in case you were wondering. It says access the nested key salary from the following JSON. So from this JSON, we need to access this key. So go ahead, pause the video, and you're going to see my solution in three seconds first things first i'm going to copy all of this i'm going to put it right here now the only thing that we need to do is to be able to access that key 
So how can we do that? I'm going to say data. This is equal to json.loads. I'm going to pass in sample json. Then I'm going to say print. Now, I'm going to say data. So first we are going to go into company. That's going to be company. So company. Then we are going to go inside employee. After there, we are going to go inside payable. Payable, which is misspelled, I guess. Payable. And then from there, we could grab salary or bonus. I'm going to grab salary. Salary. Come on up. And there, uh, payable. Okay. Uh, there we go. Save that. Let's try it again. 7,000. That's it for this question. Let's move on to question number five. Question number five says, convert the following vehicle object into JSON. Go ahead, pause the video, and you're going to see my solution after three seconds. Now, let's copy everything from here. We need to convert this vehicle object into JSON. So I'm going to say from JSON, import JSON encoder. There we go. That is going to help us do that then i'm going to create another class down here i'm going to say class vehicle vehicle encoder 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 and this is going to inherit from json encoder and what do i want to do i'm going to create a default function and i'm going to pass in self and o and i'm going to say return o dot dict there we go. This is going to take care of the conversion for us. And the only thing that we need to do is down here, I'm going to say vehicle, vehicle JSON. This is going to be equal to JSON dot dumps. I'm going to pass in the vehicle that we have, the vehicle instantiation of the vehicle class, vehicle. And I'm going to say indent for and cls is going to be equal to vehicle encoder vehicle encoder there we go with that we are done let's print it to the screen vehicle json let's go ahead and run it so there we go so we we were able to successfully convert the vehicle class into a json object name engine and price cool stuff Let's move on to question number six. Question number six is, says, convert the following JSON into a vehicle object. That says the reverse, right? So go ahead, pause the video, and you're going to see my solution after three seconds. Now, what I'm going to do first is in here, I'm going to import JSON, and then I'm going to create a class, a vehicle and uh, you know what we have already done this a lot so i'm just going to go ahead and put all the instances right here attributes then i'm going to create a vehicle decoder function so i'm going to say vehicle uh, underscore decoder this is the function i'm going to pass in an object as a parameter this is going to return vehicle class and I'm, uh, this is going to return the name, the engine, and the price. So OB, OBG, OBJ, then name. So let's copy this. And I'm going to say OBJ, this is going to be engine. And OBJ, this is going to be price. There we go. We are done with this. Let's create the vehicle uh, object. So I'm just going to say vehicle. And I'm going to say json.loads. Now, I'm going to paste here a string, which is really hard to type. I've actually pasted that string. Now, I'm going to open up a single quotes, and I'm going to paste that in just to avoid any issues. Then I'm going to say object hook is going to be equal to vehicle decoder vehicle decoder this is going to decode it for us let's save that now 
uh, we could take a look at the type of the decoded object from JSON data. So I'm going to say print, print type, and I'm going to say vehicle, vehicle, there we go. And this is going to give us the type. We can also take a look at the vehicle details as well. So I'm going to say vehicle, vehicle dot name. Just copy that. Put it right here, dot engine and dot price. Save that. Let's run that. And what do we have here? We have an issue. Stir object has no attribute read. Where is the read? Line 15. Uh, function. Um, we have our JSON dot loads. Sorry. This is the load. So let's run it again. Let's see. There we go. So it is a, this is, this inherits from the main object. That is the type. And here is our vehicle, Toyota RAV4, 2.5 liter, 32,000. 32, so that's it for question number six. Let's move on to question number, uh, question number seven. Question number seven says, Parse the following JSON to get all the values of a key name within an array. So go ahead, pause the video, and you're going to see my solution after three seconds. I'm going to copy everything that we have here. So copy that. I'm going to I'm going to go to solution. Let's import uh, import JSON. And then I'm going to create a sample JSON and I'm going to set it to uh, doc string or triple quotes or multi line comments, whichever one you want. Officially, they're called doc strings. So if you have heard me calling them uh, multi line comments, that is just for that specific application, I used multi line comments in that format. Now I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to instantiate an empty list. I'm going to say try in the try catch block. Data is going to be equal to JSON dot loads, and I'm going to pass in the sample JSON, and then I'm going to say accept, accept exception. Uh, where is the exception? Exception as ex as x. Come on, there is a lot of typo right now. So accept exception as the X, and we just want to print whatever exception it threw. And then I'm going to say data list. This is going to be equal to item, uh, a list comprehension expression. So item dot get. I'm going to pass in the name. So we want to grab the name for item and data. Cool. And then we just want to print that data list. Let's go ahead and let's run that. So it says name one and name two. So what do we got? The question said, parse the following JSON to get all the uh, values of key name within an array. Values of key name. So name, the first value was name one and the second value was name two. With this, our category 13 JSON objects, uh, uh, many programs comes to an end. See you in the next category. Now keep in mind the next category uh, we are going to have 40 mini programs and for that I'm, I have provided, I will provide uh, different videos, right? So we have, we are going to have for, so there are going to be 40 different videos. I, I, I'm not going to cram all of them into one video because that is going to go above, like that's going to be several hours of content, which is going to be really difficult to follow. So that's why they are individual video, even though that's just one category, but the videos, they have been spread out they will have been spread out into 40 different lectures in this section. The first 13 categories, category 1 to 13, doesn't matter how many questions there were. What we did was we just provided one video and then a timestamp. But for those, we, didn't, we don't have any timestamp because every video belongs to one category, right? So see you then.